So we have learned the basics of a band diagram by this point. We know where this conduction band and valence band uh, come from. For example, we know that states which are deep inside this valence band, they come from uh, the occupied orbitals. So in the case of silicon, they come from uh, shells which are you know fully occupied like the first and uh, second shell. We also saw that the bands which are uh, which are the lowest uh, the lowest conduction band and the highest uh, valence band or the lowest unoccupied band and the uh, highest occupied band these result from the from the outermost shell or the valence shell which is n equal to 3 in the case of silicon and which is uh, which is uh, partially filled and uh, so now we are we are ready to take tackle on uh, some uh, you know some uh, questions which are which uh, which test this understanding of uh, of uh, our uh, uh, for band diagram and how how these bands are result from so the question i want to pose in in this video is that uh, i have uh, this conduction band and i have uh, two of these electrons over here so this is uh, electron one over here and electron two over here and both of them look pretty happy so now the question i want to pose is which of these electrons has higher energy among so look at this uh, band diagram which of them has higher energy and similarly I have two holes over here so I have this uh, one uh, let's call it hole number one and this is the second hole hole number two so which among these holes has a higher energy so to understand this we can uh, correlate this uh, band diagram to the bond model and we can relate it to the bond uh, or to the energy levels in the case of a single atom so we know that in the case of a single atom we have these uh, discrete uh, discretely uh, spaced uh, energy levels and the energy of these uh, of these levels they increase as i go far away from the atom so if i have a uh, it's typically given by this formula and you can see that the energy it uh, it increases as i increase my increase my increase my quantum number so you see our energy over here is in negative and so when i increase uh, my n my energy of these states uh, increases for example for the case of a hydrogen atom this uh, energy could be simply given by this formula where my first um, um, where my first uh, shell it has an energy of uh, minus 13.6 ev and then uh, for n equal to 2 this uh, energy is divided by 4 so this uh, n equal to 2 level it has an energy of uh, 3.4 electron volt similarly n equal to 3 has this uh, minus 13.6 divided by 9 which is 1.5 uh, uh, 1 electron volt so you get the idea that as we are increasing our corner number or as we are going higher in this uh, uh, in our moving away from our uh, our atom the energy is uh, increasing so we can correlate this uh, model of an individual atom to this uh, band diagram where we again know that the states which are deep inside the valence band or you know which are far below they are derived from these uh, these uh, lower orbitals which are uh, fully occupied hence these states are also mostly fully occupied and these states which are in the conduction band they are derived from these uh, outermost orbital or the valence shell and as we go far into this conduction band we derive these bands which comes from these orbitals which are usually not uh, occupied so so again relating this to this we can say that the electrons which are located in the states which are uh, which are farther away from the conduction band so this this states as we are moving away from this uh, conduction band this is equivalent to moving up higher in your quantum number or it's equivalent to going far away from your from your nucleus of your atom and thus we can say that electron number two which is at a which is which is located at a state which is farther away from this conduction band edge. So this electron number two has a, has a higher energy than the energy of electron number one. So what about the case? So now what you know this is fine for electrons, but now what about the case of uh, holes? So we can think of the holes as uh, is essentially removing one electron from this uh, lower occupied orbital. So we can think of this hole as you know essentially removing this electron from here and as we go deeper into this valence band we are essentially going 
more and more closer to our uh, nucleus and if we go so if we go if we need to remove a electron from the first shell we need to supply it with 13.6 electron ev of energy if you want to remove an electron from the second cell second shell we need to only supply it with the 3.4 electron volt of energy similarly if you want to remove an electron from the third uh, shell we only need to supply it with 1.5 ele electron volt of energy so now we need much more energy to to uh, to remove an electron from deep down the valence band as compared to removing an electron from very close to the valence band so as we move along uh, as we move uh, into the valence band so as we move away from the from the valence band edge in uh, this uh, direction we need more and more energy to remove an electron or in other words this hole essentially which is results from the removal of that electron has higher and higher energy as you move in this direction so we can say for the case uh, of uh, holes this uh, hole which is uh, uh, which is hole number two has a much higher energy as compared to this hole number one